Fire in Me. Fire in Me, this new single, really personal, isn't it? Yeah. Not so much. I still want it to be relatable. Yeah. And I hope it is relatable. And, and in the way that I hope it is relatable is that people can take it on board that they've maybe been through some problems in their lives and they want to move forward with it. It was a song that I wrote that I was like, I need to move forward with my life. Yeah. I felt like I was in a really negative mindset and the way forward was to what I always put it through and that's my music. Yeah, it's been it's actually been really part of the, the healing process for you, hasn't it, really? Absolutely. I was in many ways, like I think sometimes in your life everything can be riding on such a high wave and then you know, this it's like all lives that come down and, and and I was and I came down a bit and I was mm. like, oh, I'm not really into the tunes I'm making anymore. I'm not really into what I'm doing. And I also felt like the, the single that I put out last, like the headlines all became a lot bigger than the music and that's never what I wanted. So mm. I think it was the right time to pull back and say, let's get on, let's get on board and get the ship sailing again and, and, and get it in the way that I want it to move forward. And, and that is now. That's no, that's true, because the, the problem is in the past, everybody's always focused on your health. Of course they have, inevitably they have, because mm. you, you were so very young when you were diagnosed. How are you now? Are you, you're, I'm all right. You look great. I mean, you look fine. Everything's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm in a good mindset, which great. is the most important thing. Because it's fantastic, because your, your consultant was saying that, that this brain tumour is frozen in time. It's like it's, it's not getting any bigger. It's kind of you're living with it. I don't want to like go to like, you know, it's early in the morning. I don't want to be like going to, you know, but I think the really important thing is the positive mindset. And I think Absolutely. it makes such a change. And yeah. I really do believe that, that that has helped me out so much that I focus so much on something that it's achieved something. And that is to get rid of this thing. I also think that if you do that in other ways, I have ambitions for the, the near future that I want to do and things like that. Mm where I feel like if you focus on it, your mind positively searches for it. Yeah. But also the thing is with, with my tumour, it's like I went, to see, I went to see my surgeon and she was like, oh, unfortunately, we can't take it out. And there I go, kicking my shoes out of the hospital, going, oh, what, you know. Yeah. And then I was like, do you know what? This is a positive thing. I can bring awareness to people that need it imminently, that mm. really need help, that need awareness, that need everything. And I've got the power to do that. So I think it's a beautiful thing that I can now do that with being in this experience. No, that makes perfect sense. It really does. And I absolutely hear you about being positive and using the music. I mean, you're making people feel uplifted through your music. You always have. Also, though, the love of a good woman has helped, hasn't it? Because you're engaged. Yeah, I am very much so. And you met on a plane, I believe. We did, ah. yeah. We met, um, I was going to do whilst I was a bit quiet, whilst I was taking my time out. I was... Um, I went to do a bit of acting to see right. how it was going to go. So I went into this uh, Danish crime theory series because they've become really popular. Yeah. Called U. And it means the island in Danish. Met her on the flight over there. I was like, she's incredible. <laughs> and then I was talking about her the whole time. And the lead actor, Martin, got the flight back and he texted me and said, well, she's not on my flight, so good luck. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> she's on the flight. And the engines were so, so loud. It was crazy. Because it was a tiny little plane, right, right, right. almost like a seaplane. And, yeah, I'm, yeah. and I'm going, so trying to switch it on, but not acting cool. I'm like, so anyway, we're uh, going to Copenhagen for the... <laughs> For our rap party, if you want to get involved, just drop us your digits. And she's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turns out she didn't hear a word I said. And she didn't even understand it. She still doesn't understand my mum now. But And then, yeah, basically, I she just got in touch with me and really? said, hey, it was really nice to oh, meet you. Oh, that was fantastic. And, yeah, it was meant to be, obviously meant was. to be. So sort of in the middle of, I guess, planning weddings and all of that, it's going to be happening really soon. So much to happens, look forward yeah. to. You've got so much to look forward to. I've got an exciting future. I'm really, you really, really excited have. for it. It's yeah. wonderful. Look, we've talked about finding me. We should actually see it. Let's have a look. I'd been working towards that for a long time, yeah. like coming back to music and stuff. So there was so much passion in that video. When we were doing the boxing scenes, there was so much shouting and yelling and, and, and uh, sweat and, and it got really intense. And, and it's amazing that when I watch the video back, I'm proud to say yeah. I feel like we captured what needed to be captured, you know. Very, very much so. And like you said, so many people will relate to this song. They, they really will. It's very, there's just, you know, there are tunes that you sort of hear and you think, oh yeah, that's fine. But your music really gets people. I don't need to say good luck because it's, you know, it'll be huge. <laughs> and great to see you. Enjoy the wedding. Thank you very um, much. And enjoy life. Thank you very You've much. You've got absolutely the right attitude. Just enjoy life. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you.